Tesla China has made an announcement, cleared the air and updated the status of Giga Shanghai's vehicles with 4680 Tesla battery. Welcome back everyone, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe the, to this channel, like this video if you find the information helpful and ring the bell so you don't miss my next te um, Tesla story. So Tesla China cleared the air regarding the rumors of 4680 battery cells being used in vehicles built at the company's Giga Shanghai facility. According to the Post, rumors have indicated that China-built Tesla vehicles are equipping the company's 4680 cell chemistry, that means the 4680 battery, which was unveiled two years ago at Battery Day by Tesla with a big promise. In order to protect the interests of consumers, and in response to the special action of relevant departments to rectify rumors on the internet, the following explanations are made in response to several recent rumors about Tesla China on the internet. Tesla China's Tesla's customer support account wrote on its Weibo two days ago. It makes two points. Actually, I said two days ago, but I think it was yesterday because of the time difference between the United States and China. Anyway, it makes two points. That announcement by Tesla China makes two points. The first being that no Tesla vehicles built in China use 4680 battery cells. In other words, Tesla China dismissed rumors of 4680 battery cells in Shanghai built vehicles. The announcement uh, wrote this. It said, no matter what kind of battery is used, the products we provide to customers can meet Tesla's strict product requirements and well meet vehicle performance indicators such as safety, battery life, and acceleration, the account then wrote. I think this is very interesting because basically a lot of people I hear that say, oh, I will buy a Tesla when they start building new cars with 4680 batteries with the promised longer range, uh, energy density, and so on. But look, Tesla is basically saying here in China that regardless of the battery, your car will meet Tesla safety, battery life, and acceleration performance indicators. So that's the good news. Additionally, the second point in the company, the, additionally, the company clarified that recent hype by some individuals about Tesla is about to change its models is a rumor that deliberately misleads consumers. Tesla then said that it would encourage people to point them in the direction of those who are starting these rumors so they can be held responsible. Good. If you are spreading false rumors, you should be responsible. Unless you have a good reference that you can say based on what you are talking about. Here's what the account said. At the same time, prospective car owners are requested to pay attention to the changes in the delivery cycle and arrange the pickup time reasonably. And the company said uh, in that statement and also continued saying vehicles produced at Tesla's Sh Shanghai Gigafactory are usually exported to overseas markets in the first half of each quarter and supplied to domestic market in the second half. We knew this and we had reported this several times that in the first half of the second uh, for each quarter the um, ships ship uh, uh, Gigafactory Shanghai made Tesla Model uh, 3 and Model why vehicles overseas, basically Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and we heard Israel the other day. I think 4,000 of them were shipped to Israel. That was a big shipment. And then the second half, they are domestically shipped in China because China is the largest car market as well as largest uh, electric vehicle market. The second part of that code was revealed by CEO Elon Musk over a year ago as Gigafactory Shanghai was supplying Europe with cars at Gigafactory Berlin uh, as actually Gigafactory Berlin completely construction. Tesla has dealt with major misinformation friends campaigns against it in China for several years. After dealing with numerous fabricated stories, including several that put into question the effectiveness of Tesla's braking system, the company started suing those who made up stories about their vehicles falling. 
For now, 4680 battery cells are being utilized for Model Y builds at Gigafactory Texas. I think Gigafactory Texas is the only Gigafactory that makes Model Y builds at, with 4680 batteries. But remember when the 4680 batteries were, in, um, uh, were announced two years ago by Tesla at the Tesla battery day, it said that 16% more energy density and you know possibly more range, but we don't see that the range of Model Y has change that were produced at Gigafactory Texas. Maybe Tesla needs to do some other specifications for that. Anyway, suppliers such as Panasonic have already started sending test samples of this battery cell to Tesla as they will eventually begin producing the battery for the electric car maker. By the way, stay with me because I'm about to tell you that Tesla battery supplier Panasonic is actually considering another large-scale U.S. battery cell factory. I will tell you in a moment what, what we mean by that. So Tesla produces the batteries in-house right now in California, but plans to begin manufacturing the 4680 cells at Gigafactory Texas by the end of this quarter. Tesla China's Weibo post was written as following. I'll read it for you. In order to protect the interest of consumers and in response to the special action of relevant departments to rectify rumors on the internet, the following explanations are made in response to several recent rumors about Tesla China on the internet. First point. Tesla models made in China currently do not use 4680 batteries in plans for any new model batteries within. No matter what kind of battery is used, the products we provide to customers can meet Tesla's strict product requirements and well meet vehicle performance indicators such as safety, battery life, and acceleration. Second, the recent hype by some individuals and self-made uh, self-media about Tesla is about to change its model is completely a rumor that deliberately misleads consumers. I hope everyone can provide us with clues and we will hold the rumor mongers accountable. And then Tesla continued saying that at the same time, prospective car owners are requested to pay attention to the changes in the delivery cycle and arrange the pickup time reasonably. Vehicles produced at Tesla Shanghai Gigafactory are usually exported to overseas markets in the first half of each quarter and supplied to the domestic market in the second half. And Tesla continued saying, we are very grateful that so many users choose Tesla because of their trust and love. We will continue to strive to provide customers with excellent products and user experience. Thanks again for your attention, Tesla said. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these things. You know, according to Google translation of the message, it comes from Tesla customer service and states that there are currently no plans, like I said, and um, currently does not apply forever. Remember, Tesla said currently there are no plans. And keep in mind that currently does not apply forever. And according to reports, Cattle does not intend to produce LMFP batteries on a large scale until 2023. That's from Tesla Mac. Remember I said that Panasonic is thinking of a new battery. Panasonic just announced that it is building a 4 billion battery cell factory in Kansas to supply Tesla. But we now learn that Japanese company is considering green lighting another large scale US battery cell factory to build simultaneously to the Kansas factory. Before choosing Kansas for its new battery cell factory in the United States last month, Panasonic was choosing uh, between Oklahoma and Kansas. The company ended up going with Kansas for a large-scale battery cell factory. It's second in the United States. It's part of Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. Now, the Wall Street Journal reports that Panasonic's plan for a battery cell factory in Oklahoma is no dead. It's not dead because it is moving forward with Kansas. The report states that the Japanese manufacturer is actually considering also building a plant in Oklahoma simultaneously. Well, I'm not surprised. Is anyone? Because we need as many batteries as we can use because more and more people are buying electric cars and car companies need more batteries. And it's good to see that more battery companies are coming. Well, friends, let me know. Are you happy that Tesla is clarifying the air about the 4680 battery cars from Giga Shanghai? Are you happy that Tesla is calling to hold accountable to those people who spell false rumors, uh, spread false rumors? I like that idea because you shouldn't false, uh, spread false rumors. And what do you think about Panasonic making the second bat, considering the second battery company in uh, Oklahoma? 
This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And please, if you like this video, if you like the information, please like it. Click on the like and uh, uh, give us thumbs up because it helps um, to put this video in front of more people. The more likes you have, the more probably uh, YouTube will show to more people. And uh, as more people see these news stories about Tesla and electric car, the more people will uh, probably consider buying next electric car or a tesla and thus speed up the adoption of electric vehicles have a great day god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon in our next report today